Hello and welcome to this how tech video tutorial. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to create a 3D map in Excel 2016. So this is the sample data sheet that Microsoft offered on power plants. It has 17,000 some rows of data, which is quite a bit. So we have our data here. We go under the insert tab and we can click 3D map to insert our 3D map. So this sheet already has a default one. But we're going to create a new tour so we can start from fresh and it's going to plot all those on a 3d globe for us and over here we have our field list and under power stations we have our capacity which i would like to be the height of our plotted points and see that those change accordingly we even have the company so i'll put that in the category and it'll color code everything according to companies and we have a few more options, I'll just throw in the initial date of operation into our timeline. So after we do that, you can see that a couple things pop up. We got this little timeline down here, as well as a top left date and time. So I won't be needing this legend anymore. I'll remove that and X out of the field list. And we can rotate the globe, we can zoom in with the middle mouse button scrolling in. And you can see that this is an actual functional map. So, we can just pan around, do whatever we want. We can make it a flat map if we'd like. Scroll around a bit more. And we'll just throw that back into globe mode. And we can change the shapes of our points if we want. And we even have a couple different themes here. So, if we use that one and we zoom in, you can see that this is the actual geographical layout, which is pretty cool. And we have some scene options here. So we can change our scene name, I'll just say maybe first scene. We can go ahead and change the transition duration if we'd like. Make that a bit longer. Change the scene duration. And I want it to just rotate the globe and do it around our timeline. And if we can play our scene, we'll see that it just rotates around quite nicely. We'll see that some of these little rectangles grow as time goes on and they pop up as their initial date of operation sets in. We have a few new scene options here. And we can go ahead and play the tour if we have more than one scene. Now I'll just play everything in order. We can even create a 2D chart. We have a few different options regarding that and change how the layout looks. Top 100 locations, and a few different things here. But for now, I'll just remove that. Won't be needing it in my little demonstration. So, I'll change the theme back to the default one. And if you'd like, you can just hover over and click on one of these points and you can get the information about it. And if I want to, I can just scroll around here on the timeline, and you'll notice that some of them are missing, of course, because that's because they're not up yet. And we even have some filters. We also have some layer options. We can change the color of whatever company we'd like. Change the com color of those. We can change the opacity of our points, so that when we zoom in, we can see them better. We can change the thickness. We can change the height multiplier. And we have a few more options here. And we can also give it, make it a heat map, something like the sort. We can change it to locate all the provinces. We have a few more options. And so we can also have even custom regions. We, if we wanted to, we could also create a new custom map. So I'll just click that for example. We have quite a few different options here. Let's plot it all our points. And we can change the size of it, change the cropping of it, and so forth. We can even give it a new picture. So this is for very customized things. This has been a How Tech Video tutorial. Please like, subscribe, comment, and thank you for watching.